I go to Bali in six weeks. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been, I don't know, I've been kind of holding off on making this video because I'm nervous. Like, six weeks out, I, I just bought a backpack and um, something else, I'm trying to remember. Oh, and my yoga mat, my, um, because the yoga mat that I've been using has been Jelani's, and I finally got my own. The other one that I had is at my parents' house, but I finally got, like, my own travel yoga mat, and, um, yeah, I go to Bali in six weeks, and I'm excited, and I have a lot of feelings that I haven't quite like digested all of them. And if I think about it too long, I can definitely psych myself out. So I kind of just don't think about it. But I know this is what I want to do and what I've been called to do. So I'm gonna just do it. So I am officially four weeks out of my training. And I go through phases where like, I feel like I'm completely unprepared for what's gonna happen. And I like start freaking out and I'm like, oh shit. Like they sent us an email saying that they want us. I, I really skimmed over it, so I, I could be wrong. But um, I think they want us to incorporate uh, 20 hours of practice before we get there. And essentially that's not even an hour a day, but I don't practice every day. So just getting in the habit of it like on a consistent basis, I've been trying to, and I always find resistance. So that's a little intimidating, but um, but I did it today. So it's just like, I, I, I can talk myself out of stuff really quick. And um, I'm working on not doing that. But yeah, so I'm four weeks out, um, I am excited. A little nervous but like good nerves but I am excited I just wanted to show you guys I do have a shirt on um but yeah when I was in the shower I had so much more to say but then I completely forgot I completely forgot everything but yeah four weeks oh I have been watching like other people's experiences doing um, yoga teacher trainings. And so I hate I hate saying it so fast, yoga teacher training, like it's so like, but yeah, um, I have been seeing, I've been watching people's videos about um, their experiences going on it and like, I appreciate it. I definitely, definitely appreciate it um, because everyone's different, but everybody has the same gratifying feeling, um, but yeah. So that's been helping me. And um, I've been like buying all the stuff that I need. Like I have my backpack, which I'm so excited about. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so I have my backpack, I have my yoga mat, I have my blanket, it's actually Jelani's blanket. Um, that was his yoga mat, that came with him, well, that was gifted to him, but I'm taking it. Um, so yeah, so like things are like slowly coming together and it makes me excited. So I am excited. I like rewatched the video and I didn't look like I was excited. I am excited. I just like a wee bit nervous, you know, but like overwhelmingly excited. So I just finished a 90 minute practice from um, the yoga teacher training and I'm so happy. No, I lied. I completely just lied. I didn't, I did not, that's not what happened. I feel like I did. That's what that's what happened. I feel like I did. I did a I did 30 minutes. And I feel really really happy because I when I first when they first told me that like they sent out um at the 4 week mark they sent out a um what was it? An email saying that they wanted everybody to get familiar with this 90 minute sequence and I was like really intimidated because I was feeling inadequate like I didn't 
know how to do it, you know, or I didn't, I couldn't do a practice that long on my own. And I've been patient with myself and like over these past five days, like I've gotten up to 30 minutes where I'm just like, all right, like I go, I can, the furthest I've gotten is 30 minutes through it. And, but like, I always start from the beginning. I don't know, I'm just trying to get, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to accomplish this before I get there. That's like my, that's my biggest goal right now. That and to like not think about it and like slowly get my shit together and like mentally prepare, kind of. But yeah, my goal is to get through the 90 minute sequence all the way through and like, really be dedicated to it, you know? It, but it felt so good. It felt so good. So yeah, I got to 30 minutes and I'm really proud of me. So I leave for Bali in 10 days and it's still very so much surreal. Like I go through moments where I'm like, am I really going to Bali? I'm really about to do this. I'm really, okay. So that's like where I'm at. Um, but I am excited. Like when I think about it, I just, I want to be there. Like I just want to get there. I just want everything to be smooth, you know? Um, but I, I don't know. I try not to think about it too much because then I start planning scenarios and like going over scenarios and it's never what you think. So there's no point in trying to, to try to plan it because it hasn't happened yet. So I'm trying to remember that um, and just like prepare mentally and, um, but still, uh, uh, pr pr ugh. <laughs> to prepare mentally but still enjoy the present I think that's more so um my issue like I still am practicing yoga I haven't gotten as far as I wanted to I wanted to be like doing an hour a day by now and I'm not I'm like showing up like that's one thing Jelani he's teaching me is to just show up and go from there. So I have been making, I have been showing up more and just, um, you know, realizing where I'm at and just accepting where I'm at and not judging myself for where I'm at in regards to my yoga practice and in regards to just the discipline in general. Like I realized, or I'm realizing that one of the reasons why I wanted to, 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 to get my um, certification in yoga is because I want to be disciplined. Like, I've been missing discipline in my life for a while. And so, um, so that's definitely a motivating factor. So yeah, I have a yoga pra practice. I have, um, I leave to go to Bali in like a little over a week. Yeah. This is me not freaking out. Right? Okay, bye. So I'm officially... Uh, so by this time next week, I will be in my yoga teacher training. Um, I am excited. So last week, yeah, when the, when the moon was in Leo, um... Leo is in my eighth house and it was actually, it was September 7th. I remember cause it was one of my oldest friend's birthday and um, Mac Miller died. And I think Mac Miller's death triggered just a lot of emotional release and a lot of fear. It, it, it triggered a lot of release of the fear that I had in um, traveling and in leaving my family for a long time. Um, my family is so, so, so incredibly important to me and my friends and I just kept, I kept convincing myself that my grandparents would pass while I was gone. And that, um, 
you know, I would be left with the decision if I should stay in Bali or if I should leave. And it didn't help that um, I actually found a girl on YouTube who did a yoga teacher training and while she was there, her grandmother passed and she decided to stay and finish it. But it was just like, that, that was my biggest fear. And um, since then, I have, I've released it and like I cried, I was crying uncontrollably and just like I didn't know why. And well, I knew why, but I couldn't stop it, you know? And so, um, so I really needed that. I really, really, truly did need that because I feel so much lighter now and I feel, uh, I feel like I can go even though I haven't told my grand my grandparents yet that I'm leaving, because I don't want them to worry, but like I gotta tell them today, tomorrow, in the next like two days. Um, but yeah, so uh, this time next week, I'll be doing back bends and shit. It's like, nah, but yeah, I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I go to Bali, y'all. <laughs> And I haven't, like the furthest I've gotten so far through the 90 minute program, um, or the 90 minute practice is 42 minutes. So I still have time, um, yeah. But I'm just happy that I'm making like steps in the right direction or steps moving forward. And um, if I don't make it to the 90 minute one, I won't see that as a fail, I'll just see it as, you know, it is what it is. By the end of the training, I'll be doing 90 minutes, so I'm just building up to it. And um, I'm not judging myself for not being where I think I should be, or I'm not, I don't, I don't wanna judge myself at all. So it is just, it is what it is. Like, and I have to, uh, I think with releasing all of that fear for, somebody in my family or someone really close to me passing away while I'm gone or something happening while I'm gone. Um, you know, I, I learned or, and, and I'm learning and I'm trying, I know, I know that there's things out of our control that we, that out of, out of our hands that we can't control. I know that, I get that, I understand that. I just, I still feel I guess helpless or like I just I just want that control so I'm learning to truly let go and truly release and just it is what it is like everything happens for a reason and truly embodying that and knowing that in the same breath I'm protected and so is my family and um yeah and so are my little grandparents because I love them so much but yeah, um, what was I talking about? Yoga. I was talking about yoga. Uh, yeah, so I'm at like 42 minutes. So uh, yeah, that's what we at. It'd be like that though. So I'm officially in Bali. Um, my yoga training starts today. I'm in Seminyak and I have to um, drive an hour and a half into Ubud, which is where our training will take place for the next three weeks. Um, I haven't done yoga in like mm, a couple days, a solid couple days. Um, I think because it's like now work, I am resisting it and it's no longer like a happy place. And I just, I, I'm just in my head, honestly. Like if I'm being honest, I'm just in my head. Um, but I'm happy that I'll be forced to do it because I know it's something at the end of the day that I get a lot of joy out of and it calms me. It, not even me, but my mind. My mind, y'all, I have a Gemini moon and my mind be going, it just be racing and I, I can't keep up. Like, I just, I just be thinking. And so I'm really excited to relearn how to just calm my mind and calm my nerves and anxiety and just anything that makes me feel uneasy you know just relearning the tools to 
be at peace again. So, um, so I'm excited. I know this whole process is gonna be. It, it's gonna discipline me in a way that I haven't been disciplined in a while. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to learn. I'm excited to peel back the layers of me and to see what lies beneath. And honestly, I'm excited to to be vulnerable with a group of people that I don't know because that's something that is so foreign to me, something that I don't like. And I think that's something that keeps me from sharing myself with you guys because you know, I've said it in the past, like, I don't know y'all like that. And <laughs> I mean it, one. And two, I just, because I don't know know who's seeing it on the other side of the camera, it prevents me from opening up and from being my truest self. And I hate that because um, when, I'm, when I'm vulnerable and when I'm open, I, I receive so much more and like I, I realize and notice how much love there is out there um, and when I'm able to give love I'm able to receive it and so I just really want to uh, open that connection again so I'm excited um, I got ate up last night yo I don't know if y'all can see but like I got ate up and I'm like low-key sick about it but it'd be like that right so, um, I don't know how much I'll, like, vlog of, like, actually the teacher training. Because I want to I wanna be there, um, like, just, like, you know, fully. But I also want to, like, record uh, maybe, like, my thoughts and just, like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, um, but yeah, this is going to be interesting so yeah uh, I don't know what to say <laughs> I'm in Bali by myself on some wild shit but yeah I, if I say but yeah one more time I just need to get off um, I'll talk to y'all later I love you peace and love always bye